Why do we meditate? Various reasons. We meditate because we live in a world full of chaos. And only through the strength of our mind, the strength of our compassion, of our truth, of our virtue, and of our ability to bring to the world some kind of normal normalcy and, and expression of ourselves. That's that's how we build from it. You know, we live in a world I've got cars around me, I've got a guy with a chainsaw over here, I've got a guy idling his truck over here. They don't know what they're doing. They're going through life, they're doing their thing, they're in the, in the process. They're moving from this to that. Me, I'm not. When I'm meditating, I am in all processes, all times, all spheres right now. And I can draw that power. Power from within. And nothing material matters to me, nothing nothing else matters you know the, the things I've done the things I'm going to do my mind is silenced I am what God intended me to be or as the Buddha said beyond pain suffering death all these things and you can even get rid of the pain in your body too with this too uh, it's a very useful technique and I, I advise everybody to take at least one hour a day and meditate just to uh, remember who you are get back into that state that that state that you were when you were a baby, when you were born, and you just woke up and said, God, what am I doing here? <laughs> I was in this piece of place of peace and put me here. Now, I'm going to show you how I meditate. This is my favorite spot here under this maple tree I planted. When I first came here, this area had it was a big apple tree up in the yard. It was all sunny and there was no shade, so I built this little sanctuary here for myself, and uh, it's where I meditate. I love it here, and uh, this, this this particular spot here, I can find a lot of peace. It's in, it's in an area where it's secluded. You no know, cars are going to bother me. People aren't going to look at me strange. The big, the main thing for meditation is not some magical thing you're doing to get in touch with something larger than yourself or anything like that. It's silencing your mind. So, the way I do it may not be the way that other people may do it. It is just a process of silencing the mind, coming to peace with who you are, centering yourself and being at one with uh, everything around you, and just feeling the energy of it all. So I'm going to cut my hands in this manner. See underneath this one. Fingers touching. Signify. This is the world. This is the point at which I reach. I'm going to cross my legs. You don't need to cross your legs. You can sit whatever you want to. I like doing it this way. And cut my hands. I'm going to sit with my back straight. And the main point is breathing. When you're breathing, you want to breathe in and breathe out. Take in the energy that is good. Expel the negative energy. Do not think about this. Just get to where you can do it. It may take a long time even to get to that point. And when you feel your heart rate, your mind calm down. Now I can actually control my heart rate, my, my blood pressure, everything with this. Just by doing this technique. I've done it in hospitals and the doctors don't care for it too much, but the biggest part of this technique is to focus in your mind on one thing as you're meditating. It's where that one thing is the only thing in your mind and then let it go. Until your ego, your thought process, everything is totally not a part of your, of your uh, meditation. You are what you are surrounded by. So. I want to sit like this, like the Buddha, <laughs> and uh, just relax, let the muscles in my neck relax, the muscles in my back, breathe with my diaphragm, totally at peace, totally at calm with the world, and let it all go, and that is how one meditates.